Brooks County Administration has officially ordered the East Brooks Volunteer Fire Department to stop responding to emergencies on behalf of the county. WALB News 10's Ashanti Isaac sat down with the volunteer fire chief to learn what he hopes will happen moving forward. The East Brooks Volunteer Fire Department has been servicing Brooks County for over 40 years and as of December 2022, the Brooks County Administration has served them with a cease and desist order, stopping them from responding to all emergency calls. You went from having six trucks with uh, 10,000 gallons of water sitting ready to respond um, with our, our tankers and our pumpers and our storage tank and different things like that. According to that cease and desist order, the East Volunteer Fire Department has now been reduced to just six fire trucks paid for from taxes. The county voted to stop funding the Volunteer Fire Department and take back the supplies they had funded. Now, only the county funded department can respond to calls. They will no longer dispatch us or we're no longer allowed to respond to calls within the uh, Briggs District can place the fire truck there and they said they'll be covering our area now no longer paging us out. The fire department started with 17 volunteers and that number has decreased to 12 active members who are still keeping up with volunteer training. Well we, we still meet and do our training and we, we basically had to go we get our own insurance and all our policies and things like that to um, remain compliant with what we're required to have as a fire department. We just are not being paged out to any calls to respond to any calls. I tried to reach County Chairman Patrick Folsom for a response and your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Fire Chief Lyles says all the volunteer fire department would like to do is to be able to freely serve the community of Brooks County. We're, we're still here. We just uh, are not able to respond to emergencies. We, we want to, but hopefully something can be worked out soon with the county to where we're allowed to provide the level of coverage that we did before. Coming up at six, how the community is reacting to the closure of the volunteer department and a response from the county. Ashanti Isaac, WALB, your hometown news source.